Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today we are watching a game of Domination on the Map Sea Town, and boy oh boy, isn't this a good game? Well, I think it is a good game because a few people, actually, I think only just about like two or three, uh, well I guess that is technically a few, but anyways, a few people did ask me about what I, what I do when I get into a Reaper or an AC-130. Now, I do different things for both of those, just because the AC-130 has mini nukes as its primary gun. I don't know uh, what, what size it is, like the 50mm or 35, whatever it is. Whatever size that is, it is humongous and it will destroy anything in its path, which is why it's different from the Reaper, who pretty much shoots about uh, pretty strong noob tubes. That's essentially what you have. Um, perhaps maybe two, maybe three times as strong as the noob tubes in this game. Uh, and by noob tube, I'm talking about the grenade launchers, if, uh, if you're a noob. <laughs> I'm so smart. Anyways, so when I, uh, when I get into it, you, you might notice, like, say, for example, if you play on five to seven sensitivity, I normally play on four to six, uh, somewhere around there, but if you play on, like, five to seven or maybe even higher, and you hop into a Reaper or an AC-130 for that matter, you, you will notice that it is very difficult to be very accurate because not, you're normally used to twitching. Now, I I have played on 10 sensitivity for probably like a, a straight 15 months or something like that. Uh, so I played on 10 sensitivity for a long time and I know how people aim on that. And you end up, instead of being a lot more smooth with your actions, you actually twitch and you you aim by twitching and you have different lengths of twitching to move your uh, your sights on different parts of the map and that's that's fine but when you get into a reaper it's a lot different than that because you have to be smooth because that twitching there's a delay between when you twitch and when the actual missile will arrive on its destination so just because you twitch at the last moment you might drag it across the building and then you might lose a missile now there's plenty of missiles, so it's not you're not worried about wasting the missiles, but rather the time. Now, in this game, I also want to say that uh, it's not a very good score, but I do get two Reapers, uh, which is actually pretty good, because these two Reapers do kind of destroy a little bit. Um, oh, and by the way, if you ever see anyone that you shoot and then they fall down, just spray and try to get that last kill and that, that last bullet in them, because... Hey, it, it's it's easy to do, especially when you're shooting through stuff like that. I was shooting through, like, a canopy or something. Like the, the canvas canopy. Anyways, let's talk about the Reaper. If um if you're good at remembering things, I do suggest you to turn down your sensitivity to around 2 or 3 whenever you hop into a Reaper or, or AC-130. Just because that will actually solve most of your problems. But if not, and you do forget, and you hop into... A reaper and you still have six sensitivity or seven sensitivity then here's what i do okay if you've ever uh, stuck your hand in cold water or perhaps you've gotten a cramp in your hand um doing some questionable things i presume because people on the internet are nasty but anyways if you have ever gotten a hand cramp which i've gotten before i play guitar and if you've ever gotten one you do know that it stiffens up your hand to the point where your hands move but so slowly that you can actually use this to your advantage to move very slowly and accurately. Well, you can actually mimic this by tensing up your hands by ex extreme amounts, by tensing the muscles in your arm and your uh, and I guess your upper wrist to try to make sure that your fingers can't move. And if you tense your hands up, what you'll do is you'll death grip the controller and then your thumb will still be able to move. It might be pressing down pretty hard on your your right stick, whether it be on the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Uh, it shouldn't be hard enough to actually press down it, but it should be pretty close to. And that's the type of tenseness that you want. That's the that's the kind of pressure that you want on that stick, because then you have the ability to slowly move it and accurately move it, move it to the point at which you want to shoot. Now, that is my technique for pretty much handling the Reaper or the AC-130. Now, that technique is actually, I mean, it, it's kind of questionable. It's like, it's kind of like that technique where people say, oh, you know, sit sit level with your TV so 
it's a lot easier to aim. I mean, yeah, that's, that's technically true. You should do that. But for some people, they don't need it. So you might not need it, but you might. So if it works for you, do it. If it doesn't, don't do it. But just give it a try. That's all I'm telling you to do. The next thing that I do, which is actually really important, is prioritize. Now, if uh, I wish I really would have recorded a few clips in game to show you how weak the AC or the uh, the Reaper is against Blast Shield, because I tell you what, it turns into about a very weak noob tube whenever someone has Blast Shield on, even though Blast Shield sucks complete. Uh, I will not finish that sentence, but I got the first Reaper here. If they have Blast Shield on, you you set them to the lowest priority. Okay, if if everyone else is in a building and they're out in the open, then you can go ahead and get them. But, for example, um, actually, you know what, how about instead of saying, for example, I'll tell you exactly. See, I'm, I'm slowly moving it. And also, you'll see that uh, in some cases that I'll have a uh, slow acceleration and then I'll start moving quickly. That's because your hand gets more comfortable as you start moving slowly. And as you can see, whenever you twitch like that, Sometimes it'll get you a kill, sometimes it won't, but most of the times it won't because you'll end up crashing into a building. Now, as I was saying before, get your priorities straight. The people on the flags are the priority. So if you see two people on the flag at B-Dom, or three people that you could kill at A-Dom, that they're running to the flag and not actually on the flag, kill the people on the flag at B-Dom, or B-Domination. I'm using using the word B down because some people don't understand that even say hey they're at B it's kind of confusing especially if you have people that play search and destroy or or whatever they may be playing so if they're at B domination and there are two people on it even if you could get a triple kill you stay with that double kill and you need to save the flag that's in danger at that moment because that's what you're going to need for the win and after all that is what's most important. You've got your Reaper. You're gonna get kills with it. So you don't need you don't need to worry about yourself anymore. You need to help out the team as much as you can. Because they're gonna be running away from the flags. Or they tend to be at least, because they want to get kills and you're taking them. They're you're taking them from them because not only are you in a Reaper, but you're also driving them into the buildings. So if you're doing that, they're gonna need to run and they're or they're going to want to run. They don't need to, but they're going to want to want, run away from the flags and try to get kills for themselves. So, you know, try and get killed by a juggernaut. Unfortunately, noob. Anyways, I've got to stay on topic here. That's the first priority. The second priority is the people out in the open. Actually, it's the people out in the open trying to shoot you down. If you see, if you hear that beeping noise and they're out in the middle of the open or you see a smoke trail coming up from them, you hit them. You hit them as soon as you can because you're going to lose your reaper. That second shot is deadly. Uh, and, hey, it's, it's also easy to shoot down with bullets, so if you see someone shooting down with, like, their LMG or whatever they have, also try to shoot at them. Make sure that they are a priority. Um, and then after that, it's the people out in the open that aren't trying to shoot you down. You have the people that you're just getting kills. And remember, don't, don't be twitchy and keep your hand tense. Remember, if you be twitchy, then your chances are you're going to run into the corner of the building at the last second. Even though your correction may be correct, and you're not overcorrecting, chances are you're going to correct too late and you're going to run into the corner of a building. That's what I did probably three, three, maybe four times in this game. So it will affect you and it will uh, cause you to lose some flags too. So especially around this B, this B area can be kind of hard to hit them. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, ooh, actually, that I recorded this in theater mode, so that means... That, uh, there's a guy in here, GBR Illusionist, a uh, good buddy of mine, he's over in Scotland, Water Bottle, sorry anyone that's, <laughs> sorry anyone that's in the United Kingdom, you guys say water bottle, funny. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get back on topic, so the last person that you need to prioritize is the people inside the building, or actually is the people outside with, uh, with Blast Shield, kill those guys too, and then the people inside the buildings. Those people inside the buildings are, uh, aren't really a direct threat, but you know what, you might as well get try to get them out of there if there isn't anybody uh, outside instead of keep on looking, you know, see if see if one spawns. It's actually kind of easy to get some some kind of uh, even a weak missile, you know, like uh, the splash damage, splash damage. It is pretty easy to get those into windows, so you might as well at least try. 
up. Once again, guy going to B, take him out. These guys are on their own flag, don't really care. Uh, I corrected the last second just because I think I was going to hit the Z, hit a corner of a building. Uh, it's kind of hard in this map, but, uh, and I don't know how that didn't kill a guy, but, hey, whatever. Um, that is a juggernaut, and actually my friend wanted help killing the juggernaut, so I did go after him. Otherwise, don't, uh, don't worry about it, but there were people going after, uh, going after him and trying to kill him, so help them out while I took out that juggernaut, and you get a pavlo. So, this kill streak setup is also very beneficial whenever you're playing Domination, because, uh, after all, it is pretty easy to get a 9 kill streak, especially in the, in Domination with a Predator, because you actually get, you know, maybe, maybe 1 to 3 kills with that Predator, which will already put you up at 8, or 7, or 6, but, once again, that's only a few kills off, especially if you have Hardline, it's not that much, it's actually very easy to get a Reaper with only a Pred, so... Uh, if you do put something after it, an Osprey or Pavlo, whatever you like, you could get that uh, that next kill streak. So keep that on uh, keep that on your list and make sure that you set up your kill streaks appropriately. You probably, if it's like team deathmatch, you probably only want your Reaper as your last kill streak. Just go like uh, Predator, uh, Attack, Helicopter, and Reaper. But if you're playing domination like this, definitely suggest you to, if as long as you you know you're a decent player. Uh, I do suggest you to go after some some higher kill streaks afterwards. So keep that in mind, and that's all the tips I have for you. So game is over. Final score, I believe, is 41 and nine. Not exactly sure because I can't press up the scoreboard right away in theater mode. But we will come over here shortly and look at GBR Illusionist. He's such a such a elite pro, elite, elite sniper, a 1337 sniper. Elite 15 and 10.